How's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Chase HQ on the Sega Master System. This is part two. Um, if you remember from part one, I accidentally skipped um, adding extras to my car. So I'm literally, I have nothing. I've got maybe just the, the standard turbo and that's pretty much it. No extra bumpers or anything. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing extra damage. So there's a very good point where I'm going to bail out at this point. Um, but um, let's see what Nancy's got to say. This is Nancy at Chase HQ. We've got an, we've got an emergency here. Uh, Ralph from Idaho. Oh, Ralph, sorry, sorry. Ralph the Idaho Slasher is fleeing toward the suburbs. Jesus. The target vehicle is a blue British sports car over. Okay. Oh, they're pretty detailed with some of these bloody targets. Bloody Slasher. What are we going to have next? John the Nudist. <laughs> the Flasher. <laughs> John the Flasher is next. Just get these, uh, just barge these out of the way, we don't care. Let's uh, use a turbo to try and get further. See if we can get to the target sooner rather than later. Uh, the distance actually um, appears, he doesn't appear to be that far away. So, um, there he is. Hit him twice. Um, the damage doesn't seem to be going up as much, so maybe that's what my bumper was for um, to do it, uh, the additional damage there. Come on. I've got, I've got a minute, so. Can I, oh no! Well, that's uh, that's probably screwed me right over there. Yeah, I can see him pulling away. distance gauge at the bottom. Ah, oh, I've lost it. I've lost it. That's it. I'm out of here. Game over, man. Oh, I'm still in low gear as well. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, it's just fall I've fallen apart. Absolutely fallen apart. No turbos. One continue though, so at least I could probably catch up a little bit. I just need to try and stay away from the fuck. Yeah, from the rocks I was about to say, which um, I clearly didn't do very good, and now he's miles away. I don't think I'm going to be catching up to him anytime soon. I'm definitely not going to not gonna have to use my last continue, that's for sure. Don't give up. Let's go. Got some turbos back, that's a good thing. Maybe I should do automatic transmission. Please select manual or automatic transmission. Ah, oh, shit. It's another thing I'd like to do as well, probably um, look at getting some Let's Plays in on arcade games. Um, I do love arcade games, so um, I've got loads of them on an emulator um, that run very, very well. So uh, that would be quite fun to do. Just try and experiment and just kind of explore what kind of uh, Let's Plays I can do. I was looking at my um, library before um, I actually started recording this video. Um, one of the one of the Let's Plays I was thinking of doing was for Sega Bass Fishing, but unfortunately the cable that I've got um, it, um, outputs at a funny resolution that my game capture card doesn't like. So um, I can't, <laughs> basically. But I'm hoping to get an open source scan converter maybe for Christmas, if not then just after, and that will be able to hopefully um, upscale um, the, the, the resolution and the picture quality of my Sega Dreamcast. Um, well, we're game over there anyway, so what, um, what's this? Stage 1 course map. I, I, don't, I honestly don't know what that actually just told me. It, it looked like it gave me zero information. Um, well, let's give this another go. We'll see if we can get further this time. Maybe I'll choose um, automatic transmission. There we go. Uh, I've got nothing anyway, so we have to just um, we have to just go for it. So what's Nancy got? I didn't read this the first time round. This is Nancy from Chase Country. We've got an emergency here. Ralph, the Idaho slasher, is fleeing towards the suburbs. Oh, well, this is the guy I just was just chasing. Oh, maybe loops. 
Oh, I've just accidentally used the thing. Oh, yeah, there you go. I put it on automatic transmission, didn't I? And it's just done it for me. I'm thinking I have to press up to uh, change my uh, transmission, and I don't. Get out of the way! Did I go left or did I go right? I can't work out which way I've gone. Have I gone the wrong way? Alright, sorry. I didn't mean to change transmission. It just accidentally put it into low gear, and it put it back into high gear automatically for me. Oh, man. I am miles away. I think I've gone the wrong way. Um, because the distance is very, very far, so yeah, I've screwed this one right up. Oh, I need to hope that I've, I've got 13 seconds to, 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 to engage the target. If, if I don't, then yeah, this is uh, I'm gonna have to use a continue on the first stage, which is not good. Come on, ah, so close. All right. So I used to continue in the first round. Doesn't matter. Round one, stage one. So what is there a round two? Though I don't know. I guess right. I didn't. I didn't notice on my second when I looped back to this one whether it was round two, stage one. <coughs> so uh, I'll have to check that out if I manage to get that far again. So let's uh, smash up Ralph. Sake. Uh, this is um, not going well. It's not going well. Yeah, you don't need the. Oh, okay. oh fuck! Seriously, how am I doing so much worse now? It's always on the second playthrough. You just do so much worse. I mean, who leaves boxes in the middle of the road as well? What are they paying their road tax for? Look at this shit. I don't even remember what was in the middle of the road. The arcade version. Do you know what? I'm going to have to play the arcade version as well at some point. Because um, I don't even remember if there's like obstacles in the middle of the road on that. All I know is that you hunt down a car and bash him. This is bad. I can't believe I'm about to use a second continue. Oh man, that car aimed for me. It actually fucking aimed for me. What a, a knob. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a place to... Oh, as I'm recording this, um, it's the uh, it's um, Wednesday. It's Wednesday. October 20... I want to say 7th. <laughs> um, and I think it's um, the PlayStation State of Play today, which um, will be somewhat interesting. And um, West Ham United are playing Manchester City in the uh, what I like to call the Capybara Cup. Um, typical for West Ham to get Man United in the first draw and then Man City in the second. It's like we can't just have an easy run to the final. Oh no, not West Ham. Um, I will also continue the LMA Manager playthrough at some point as well. Um, I know that um, there were. I know that Retro Red Steve enjoyed that, um, which was also good. One of the uh, subscribers to the channel. So thank you, Retro Red Steve, for watching and commenting on those videos because um, that really kind of gives me the drive to carry on when I, I read. Um, comments such as that, enthusiastic comments. Um, I haven't, I know I haven't gotten around to, 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 to watching other people's videos as well, it's, it has been tough. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm just going to do me, I'm going to do me, um, play what I want, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try and get around to the guys that also support me, um, you know, I like to support them too. Right, okay, well this isn't going very well. Um, one continue left and then I think we'll be done you're under arrest, suspicion of first degree murder oh, I wonder what kind of Peggy rating this would have got back in the day right, let's see if we can perform better now we've got our bumpers Alright, let's 
to see if there's any. Oh, excuse me. I'll just try to manoeuvre my uh, microphone and uh, not sure. <coughs> Nearly fell off the <coughs> thingy, me Bob. The stand it's on. Right. Okay. We're in high gear. Boop. Boop. Now, now there's barrels on the road. Come on. Seriously. Highway maintenance. Get rid of this stuff. We caught up to him pretty quick. Let's have a look and see what the damage is going to be like. See, the tyres, I think it helps when you buy the tyres as well. I feel like I can manoeuvre the um, corners a bit better. Um, yeah, I think I'm doing more damage now I've got that bumper. Yeah, I mean, this seems a lot easier now <laughs> than, than, than the first round. Um, yes, yeah, so he's done. You know, I still had 62 seconds to go, so... I'm going to try and learn some um, video game um, soundtracks as well to play on the piano. Um, I've already been learning Zelda's Lullaby um, from, of course, The Legend of Zelda. Um, that's uh, I say I've been learning it, but I don't actually have the sheet music to it. Um, I watched, um, I think I watched a YouTube video and learnt the basics, the beginning again of that, um, and I want the sheet music, but sometimes, I'll tell you what, just, to put, just for one bit of sheet music, some people want like nine, twelve pounds for that, and you can get an entire book for that kind of money, it's, it's, it's insane. They really, um, I tell you, when you're a learner of anything, people really, um, really take advantage of you. Oh, we got left this time, on the left, it's a good thing I know my lefts from my rights. Out of the way! Get out of the way! Fuck! Fuck! What's the distance? Oh, I could use a turbo. That's probably the best time to use a turbo. Actually, he's on a straight. There we are. Now we've caught up. Let's get this fecker. Oh, you've got to be. You've got to be kidding me. Get out of the way. Oh, that's it. I mean, that's game over. I don't think we're going to be able to do this now. He's too far ahead. And I keep. I'm slowing down. There he is. Come on. 25 seconds. Oh no, this is this is we're gonna do this. I think I think we can do this. <laughs> Get away from the edges and bushes and boxes in the middle of the road that highway maintenance can't be bothered to clean up. <laughs> Nine seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's another thing. I mean, football's been oh, doing my back any favours. Um, I'm not exactly sitting in the most comfortable position either right now, but um, uh, yeah, I feel my back about to twinge again. I remember the last time that happened, I was recording something. I was doing a recording. I can't remember what it was. I mean, it might have been it might have been a let's play. I don't think it was a let's play actually. I think it might have just been a um, gameplay recording from when I was doing one of my pickups videos, and all I did was kneel down to lean, lean, to pick up a cable. And my back just blew out, and oh my word, the pain was awful. I can feel it going again now. Like I feel like it's gonna just twinge, and I can just um, fall. Imagine myself falling to the ground, but uh, it hasn't yet. So. Oh, do you know what as well? I wanted to do a video um, based on um, my reaction to the um, Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack um, with the N64 add-on. 
um, because and this is just my opinion okay and you know people are probably sick and tired of complainers and stuff like that people who you know like to have a moan but I don't like to have a moan I the only I'll only moan if I'm being given if I feel I've given a reason to moan but I really think that Nintendo just don't give a fuck about the community um, you know I mean if they did they would have put half an effort into making sure that when Nintendo Switch Online went live it was a valuable asset to have like you know there were, it was it was a good option because at the minute there's no value to it it's not really there's no value to the online service you get nine what was it nine n64 games and the emulation i've seen the screenshots the emulations look terrible you know there's, there's no fog on legend of zelda and it looks glitchy and there's input lag and the online play on mario kart as well which let's be honest when someone wants to play nintendo switch online they're going to want to play that's the first thing they're going to want to do with their friends is play mario kart battle mode on online i know that's what i wanted to do um, but thanks to scalpers as well, buying all of the N64 pads, that I, I wanted just one. Um, I don't really want to play with my Pro Controller because the, the map, the maps, the button mapping is bad. Oh, I've still got one continue. Um, the button mapping is quite bad and it just don't feel right. I, I want to play it on an N64 controller. Um, as bad as people say they are, I didn't really mind the N64 controllers, I thought they were alright, but... Um, again, that's just me, and that's my nostalgia talking. Um, but I really wanted one, and I want to, I want one to enjoy the experience um, until they come back into stock. I can't. But as long, thanks to the scalpers and obviously the poor emulation, I ain't investing in it. I'm just not going to do it yet. I think that's going to be a New Year thing. I reckon, honestly, um, Nintendo need to bloody pull their finger out because they're looking they're looking bad at the minute. What with you know, all these temporary releases, Super Mario 3D All-Stars only being available until March, and Mario 35, a, a, well, a very well-received game, only being available till March. Um, you know, and, you know, people say they, they're not worth being at full price, but, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, was it worth being at full price? I mean, plenty of people bought it, so I guess it was. Um, Nintendo are always going to make their games full price, but... Um, yeah, it just doesn't paint them in a good light. And, you know, had they just at least as well come out and said, look, we're aware of the issues with Nintendo Switch Online, we've acknowledged them, and we're, we're working to, to resolve those issues. Had they just come out of that, I reckon the gaming community would probably be a bit more understanding about it, and a little less pissed off. But the fact is they just ignore you. They just ignore the entire community. Whereas, you know, Xbox don't. PlayStation don't. You know, I mean... With, with Sony and PlayStation, they kind of ignore it a little bit, and if it really kicks off, then then they acknowledge it. Like, for example, the whole um, the C bomb issue with the PlayStation 4s, where if the CMOS battery died on your motherboard, uh, you'd literally you wouldn't be able to play any of your games. Um, they, you know, the internet kicked up enough about that. There was plenty of articles and videos on YouTube, and PlayStation responded and they fixed it. You know, so now if the CMOS battery dies, you'll be able to play your games regardless. So they do listen. They do, they do resolve things. I don't know of a time when Nintendo have done that. You know, like where the backlash has been so bad that they've come out and said, you know what, we, we were wrong about this. You know, we're, we've acknowledged this. You know, it's not, you know, with the N64, they could come out and say, we're sorry. Yeah, it's not at our standard. Because Nintendo don't have low standards. Let's be honest. They have very high standards. Their games, you know, are superb. Like the quality of their games are superb. Um,. So for them to kind of completely ignore this like s below par emulation is actually quite surprising. Um, but the fact they don't even actually really acknowledge it and say, look, you know, guys, we're working on this. So don't worry. We're, we're, we're very sorry. This isn't. This is not how we set our expectations. But the fact they haven't done that it, that's what pisses me off about Nintendo, and that's why they just kind of give this fuck you mentality where they're just sitting there like rubbing their nipples going oh what you don't like our n64 oh it's a shame you can't play it on your playstation you're the only way you can do it i mean i know that you could probably emulate on your pc but i'm not sure if if, if, if an emulate like project 64 has um online um, functionality i don't know i've, I've not yeah I'm not, i've not tried it um i know that z snes used to um but i don't know if um project 64 does um so yeah, it does. It reminds me of that South Park episode of the cable, um, where everyone's just bloody rubbing their nipples and saying, "Oh, you know, you, you pretty much basically saying, you know, if you don't like it, where else are you gonna go?" Basically, 
that's the kind of Nintendo's attitude. Um, you're going to buy it anyway. So that's kind of my opinion <laughs> on, on that um, whole situation. There. I am on round two. Here we go, round two, stage one. So it does just loop after a while. Okay, well that's fine. That's fine. At least I know. But this will be my final playthrough anyway, so this is my last continue. We'll just see how well we can do this. I've reached the same stage as what I did last time. I'm not sure if I've set a new high score yet, but we'll find out when the game over hits. Um it's me. Ah oh, at least I've got 65 seconds to uh, to redeem. I've got to believe. You gotta do what? You gotta believe. And apparently as well, going back to that Nintendo thing, from what I, I read, that apparently um, the reason why the price went up so much um, was because of the Sega Mega Drive games. Now, if that was the case, just don't put the Sega Mega Drive games on there. But I don't care about the Sega Mega Drive games being on the Virtual Console. I really, really don't. And it's not like Sega hasn't released a million compilations of all their fucking games anyway. It's just pointless, in my opinion. I was really looking forward to N64 the most because being able to play N64 in high quality is, very, is the hardest for us in the PAL region because our N64s, um, like literally, like Nintendo like fucked us over with our N64s because literally they only give us a composite out. They didn't give us RGB like they did with the NTSC versions. You know, we only got we only got composites. So you know, when we connect that to um, an LCD TV, it looks shit. Um, so our only option is to get the M64 modded. And if you're looking at getting Ultra HDMI or whatever it's called, that is going to set you back um, like a good three. I think it's like three hundred pounds for the mod. And then you're looking, if, unless you unless you're confident of doing it yourself, which I certainly am not. You're looking at then looking at two hundred pounds for the labour. So you're looking at five hundred pounds for the mod. I mean, I'm, I've been looking on eBay today to see how much. Um, PAL Nintendo 64s are going with the Ultra HDMI mod and they're like £600, you know, so it's insane. So yeah, the only I was really looking forward to playing N64 games on my Switch because it was the only way I could play them at 1080p and like crystal clear quality, you know, and and, and, and now it's, it's, it's just got such bad reviews and such bad kind of like feedback. And I can't even get that poxy N64 controller as well because all the dickhead scalpers are buying them and selling them on eBay, you fuckwits. I fucking hate you guys. Um, you know, you, you deserve to be fucking punished in some way. I absolutely hate scalpers. Like, seriously, like, these are just fucking cockwits who are buying them up for their own personal gain and they're leaving legitimate gamers, genuine gamers who want them, just out in the cold for their own personal, selfish, pricky benefits, you fuckers. Absolutely fucking hate them. Um, so yeah, um, a bit disappointed really that um, it's a bit of a shitter with that entity form. But I mean, there's always next year. I'm sure those controllers will come back in stock. Um, hopefully, Nintendo make enough, and um, we get more of an opportunity to get more. Um, I mean, I only want one. I mean, maybe I'll get two down the line, but I'll have, I'll have one for now because I don't need two. I'll give someone else a chance to have another one. If someone else wants two, they can have two. I only need one at the minute. I'll get what I need, not what I, you know, not for the sake of just buying them, for the sake of it. Uh, oil, a bumper, a tire, and um, you know what? I'm going to leave the turbo because I want that supercharger on the next round if I make it. So, uh, another thing for anybody that is wondering, I am not emulating this game. Um, this is um, on not real hardware, but this is uh, using the analog Mega SG, which is um, an FPGA clone console, which uh, basically emulates the hardware of the Sega Master System, or the Sega Mega Drive even. Um, and it's um, basically got 
near perfect accuracy. Um, the there's very very little difference um, to be perfectly honest. Not to the not that anyone would really notice. I think the only times they can't say 100% accuracy is because there could be games with slight little bugs in them, and then they have to be patched out. But almost every game every game I've played has been like 100% accurate to um, the actual hardware, um, and it's been superb. And this has a an um, uh, a master system adapter that comes with the system and that's how I'm playing this game um, obviously it outputs in 1080p which is gorgeous so to be able to play these games in 1080p is just it's stunning it really is I mean I don't really care about playing it on the actual hardware I'd much rather have a better picture quality the the I've, I do own the actual hardware but it's just sitting collecting dust right now it's just more of a showpiece for the time being um, because there's absolutely no need for me to play it on actual hardware when this does as good a job so, and it gets, I'm, I'm using an actual Master System controller too anyway, and it's all official carts, so yeah. Absolutely love this hardware, big fan of analog. Uh, would like to try and get the analog pocket too, when that becomes available, uh, when pre-orders become available for that too. Um, I'm not going to make this, so I'm not going to be able to get that supercharger unfortunately. But it's been a good run, it's been a good run, and uh, I've certainly beat my last high score anyway. Um, this time it's 2165200. Nice little jingle at the end there. Game over. Stage 3 course map. I don't know why it tells me that. I don't know why it shows me that. I thought maybe it had like a progress bar. That would be fine. But I don't really get what that's about. But yeah, there you go. I set a new high score. So that's pretty good. So look, that's that's that. Um, I mean, this, this episode certainly ran on a heck of a lot longer than I intended. Um, I only really wanted the episodes to be about 15 to 20 minutes long. This one's gone well over. Um, but there was no point whole, um, stopping it halfway through. So, look, guys, thanks very much for watching. I know it's been a long episode, and I do apologise, and I don't blame for those who left early. Um, but if you did enjoy it, hit like and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more Let's Play content, because uh, there certainly is going to be some Let's Play contents coming up, because um, I'm going to be recording another session right now on a different game for another time. So thanks very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. You're going to enjoy it, trust me. Well, at least I think you will. See you later.